I think what's been great about this generation of consoles is that players get to choose how they want to play the game. The challenge is, are you delivering the promise of this character, of this franchise, playing either in fidelity mode or performance mode? In order for us to accomplish that, we want to put as much detail as we can into the characters and the environments. But one of the things that you will experience in real life is that the world is incredibly reflective. There's glass buildings that are reflecting. Spider-Man's goggles, his lenses, are reflecting the world around him. And we've always had to make compromises when we switch to a performance mode. The fidelity of it drops a little bit just so that we can get that extra performance. And so your final product ends up being kind of that compromise between the creative vision and the technical limitations that we have. The team works really, really hard to make sure no matter your personal preference, that feeling of what you want to be as Spider-Man will continue to be felt. The PS5 Pro fits in nicely where it allows for higher fidelity, the ray tracing is now two to three times as fast, have an actual custom silicone AI upscaler that performs the upscaling, the anti-aliasing, frees up a lot of the GPU to render pure graphics, but also improves the visuals and the jump in quality, fidelity, the extra detail in the distance is just unbelievable. Players can swing through the city at 60 frames per second, get that nice, smooth controls that they want, but at the same time have the fidelity of the world and the characters from fidelity mode. When players play Marvel Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 5 Pro, they are playing the quintessential version of the Spider-Man experience on the PlayStation 5. Yeah.